I guess I've already pressed record. Feeling the, um, the anxiety build with uh, looking at the time, almost a minute, and I've not said anything. And thinking um, that that's evidence that I should make a video, that I'm forcing myself to make a video. And, um, Everybody in the world can see that, except for me, or, or, yeah, I'm showing my, showing my bad colors by, um, I'm forcing myself to do it, so that brings up, like, Oh, doing something wrong, which makes uh, feelings of anxiety come up. And just from like a feeling that like I'm doing this because I have been doing it. And I don't know. I don't really know my why. But my why is like just because I want to keep going. I want to, uh, while I can, make as many of these, or do this for as many days as gets closer to 100, and um, see how it transforms me. Because it definitely, it definitely brings stuff up. And, uh, Yeah, and feelings of embarrassment or shame or, you know, just brings to the surface how I care what other pe people's opinions are. And how little I allow myself to... Uh, not know what I'm doing. But there's a part of me that pressed record and doesn't fully believe that, even if I can't like, even if I don't feel like I can argue um, why I'm doing this and make someone who doesn't think I should convince them. You know, that is a big thing for a lot of people, they feel like in order to have a certain opinion or do a certain thing, that they have to have a strong enough argument or a perfect argument that would convince the other person that if your dad or your mom or if you could convince them with your argument then then you would feel safe doing it or then you would feel like not guilty for doing it or not embarrassed or ashamed and that is um I don't know what the right um term for that would be like codependency or you know lack of self differentiation where um, you feel like you need to uh, 
win the person over. That happens all the time in political debates. That happened all the time during during COVID and you know vaccines and what your choice is and how you feel about it. Where it's this compulsion to um, have to be able to defend yourself and have to be able to prove it, prove it with facts or get the other person to agree with you for you to be allowed to believe a certain thing rather than this is what I want to believe even if I can't um, argue to a sufficient degree it doesn't really matter because you know what you want to you know what you actually believe anyway pimple on the on the earlobe and uh, I hate when that happens they're always painful and then annoying I actually have one on both sides somehow rarely they just come up every once in a while every blue moon and uh, this one's on the outside and then I have one like under this one I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Feeling the need to do enough research. But really it's enough for the whoever you're arguing against for who you voted for or mm, choosing this diet or whatever and you know it happens all the time where it's like you just feel like oh if you could just watch this video or watch this documentary I saw or saw all three of these and then this one then you would um, understand my point but um, for most people like you're gonna take something in and that's gonna be good enough for you to believe it but uh, you know you def you're not gonna be super sound unless you're like engaged in that um, that information for a long time to be able to, you know, effectively argue and, you know, those issues are really not about facts and information and you know, arguing your point. Because really, they're not the judge. Yeah, I can see in like a court of law, like you want to do your best, hire a lawyer, hire someone who's good at defending your case. But when it's between you and another person, the other person is not the judge. So whether you're right or wrong, they, um, you don't have to convince them and they don't have to convince you. Um, they can believe what they want and you can too. And, um, you know, that's where the, uh, you're really fighting 
your fears, where it's like, ah, if I can't make this type of person that reminds me of, you know, my dad, then I'm not safe, or I can't, um, I can't be right, or I said or, but I don't have anything else. Really, my intention in making these videos is to let let God work through me. Let God say something. You know, I could choose something to talk about, but there's too many things. I didn't know what would come out of my mouth when I press record and um, I don't know what will be helpful to people and what will impact them or be beneficial but I surrender that to God's own wisdom working through me. I don't know. Maybe it's just for my own growth. But oftentimes when I don't know, sharing anything. Just like a um, anybody else putting out content or preaching or whatever, you don't know what sermon or what um, message will help somebody. My message may not be for anybody today. You know, it might be helpful later on, or it might prepare me for helping somebody else later on. Because whatever I do today, God is not finished. And, um,. You know, God wants to use you today in faith. He wants to use you as you are. Because all he asks for is humility. Because it's, it's not my power making this happen anyway. I didn't choose to be alive. I didn't choose to be male. I didn't choose my parents, my upbringing. I didn't choose to...
not get in a wreck and die. I didn't choose to have the Spirit of God. I mean, I guess you can argue that I made a choice, but I didn't choose what God would be like. Isn't that a thought? Nobody got to choose what God would be. Nobody got to choose what life would be, or the universe would be, what a human would be. You didn't choose what food would be, that there would be trees on this planet, that you didn't choose what animals would be here with us. You didn't choose what things would taste like. or what colors there would be. I didn't choose how my brain would function. I didn't choose what emotions there were. I didn't choose that there be anger and sadness and joy and and love. We didn't choose that God would be good. And I guess that is, I don't know, something I feel like leaving is um, maybe to uh, think of things that you're grateful for that are aspects of God that you didn't choose, but you're glad that God is that way. See you guys.